Okay, review for test. The assumption here is that you are looking at the notes that I sent out, um, and you can refer to those as I move along. Um, first problem, box of mass M held in place by friction, rise on flatbed of a truck. Um, the key idea here is that, a couple key ideas. One is that the force that makes the box itself move in a circle is the inward directed um, force of friction. Um, you'll recall that the force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force. So if I do a free body diagram, I have the force of friction inward, I have a normal force up, and I have uh, mg force downward. Um, so on the diagram provided above, indicating clearly label all forces, all the force vectors acting on the box. Um, for what condition must be satisfied? Uh, coefficient of friction. Key idea, uh, key idea there is just that the inward directed acceleration is V squared over R. And therefore, um, if I want to figure out what the um, velocity, the relationship between static friction and um, the velocity, then what I can say is that the inward directed force is the force of friction, which is mu, in this case, mg, and that's going to equal m v squared over r. The m's cancel out, and you get a, re a relationship. Um, the next question asks us now to look at the possibility that the road is properly banked, the box will remain in place with the truck. So the idea here is that the forces that are acting on the box, again, there's only really two forces because it's frictionless. So the idea here is that I have an mg force down, and then I have a normal force that is perpendicular uh, to the roadway. And the cool thing here is that... Um, the inward directed force comes from that normal force. So if I look here, there's a component, we'll call it F normal in the Y direction. This is F normal, but there's also a force in this direction, F normal in the X direction, and that's gonna be the one that gives us our M V squared over R. Now notice that mg is strictly down, but the F normal force has a component that is both um, vertical and a component that is horizontal. The vertical components um, have to be equal, have to be balanced, there's no acceleration in the y direction, so that clearly F, in the, F normal in the y direction is equal in magnitude to mg. Um, and then because we've got this other force here, um, which of the two forces acting in the box are greater in magnitude? Clearly, the Fn force is greater than the Mg force. If the truck were to increase in speed and the box were to remain in place, what would happen to the forces at work? Um, so look, we need to find another force. We need to ignore this part right here for time being. We have Mg doesn't change. The normal force is the one that opposes mg. That's the component of the normal force that we spoke about as being inward directed. We need to get another force. So the only force available is the force of friction. The force of friction is going to go down the incline. And notice that that actually has an interesting effect. Now that I've got a force of friction in this direction, we can draw, draw a component of this force inward, force of friction in the x direction, there's also a force of friction in the y direction, and that has, and because we've now got two forces, mg and force of friction in the y direction downward, my F normal force has to increase to kind of make up for um, the fact that I'm now dealing with a friction force that that is adding to my downward directed forces. Force normal increases and force of friction are both there. They both have components in the um, x direction. So now 
f normal, f normal in the x direction plus force of friction in the x direction will equal my mv squared over r, and then there's a bunch of work involved in getting, um, calculating what the normal force is, um, and that's beyond what we're going to talk about here. Um, if the box were to start sliding, what would be the direction that it would go in? Again, the idea here is that the only force, the only force available would say that the box would go in the direction that it wanted to if there were no friction. Uh, I'm going to cover this next one on the next slide.